Welcome to the world's largest uh, earthquake shock absorber factory. All right. You have here in front of you uh, the world's largest uh, earthquake shock absorbers and some middle sized ones and some small ones. So these shock absorbers take away the movement of the earth from the buildings such that buildings and bridges can function after an earthquake. Because the auto industry is still trying to recover from what it used to be and do. Well, the, the earthquake shock absorbers are only part of what we're, we're doing here. They are part of a new field that we call sustainable buildings. Buildings that are not damaged by earthquakes, buildings that use minimum energy. And the way we can do those more efficiently, have higher quality products that are made faster and cost less than the traditional, my grandfather's style construction, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are by making those buildings in a factory. Modular. So Modular we are buildings. simultaneously advancing factory manufactured entire buildings. It's like we manufacture isolators in this building, in the building next door, we manufacture entire buildings. That's great. That's great. <laughs> so you're right. There's always an opportunity there. We've got to find it and then develop it and then have that be the thing that we can be known for. We fabricate buildings in the United States and the world today the same way that we used to fabricate cars more than 100 years mm. ago. When we transform buildings to be manufactured in a factory, instead of fabricated at a generic materials at the construction site, we will have completely changed the world of building construction. Well, I mean, that's a great way. That's, a, I, I think, again, a great place to start, that kind of a foundation to regenerate manufacturing in our nation. Well, we're doing that right now here on Mare Island. That's and great. I am certain that that's the future of manufacturing in the United States. We need high caliber people to operate machines that cost me over a million dollars to buy and put on the floor. So if somebody pushes the wrong button, we could lose a million dollars in a heartbeat. Right. So workers need to be capable and well-trained and knowledgeable in terms of how to operate this sophisticated manufacturing equipment. Right. It's a new world uh, for manufacturing uh, and it's a new way to make buildings and bridges. Well, Henry Ford changed the world, not only for automobiles, but he was really the beginning of the standardized factory manufacturing production line protocol. And today, almost everything that everybody buys is made in a factory. Right except buildings and bridges. Yeah, how about that? How about that? How about that? So, how about that? we need to make our buildings and bridges in the factory too, because they'll be much higher quality, we'll be able to produce them much faster, and they will be much more environmentally friendly from an earthquake point of view, from an energy point of view, from a natural lighting and ventilation point of view. Those are the buildings that we're building today here on Mare Island, which we believe will be the future of construction uh, for this country and the world. And if the next city manager uh, is supportive of bringing manufacturing to Mare Island and bringing other companies and factory manufactured buildings here to Mare Island, that industry can transform this city. Rockefeller was one of the first to embrace the advances in the electrical industry using electric motors in, in his factories to produce um, electricity. Right. So right. he embraced it, he didn't oppose it, well, he joined it. So <laughs> that again, what's what we've got to have here are city manager and economic development directors who embrace change, and, a new way of doing that. Yes, and look for the way that's best for most of the people in Vallejo, not just right. for a select few. That's right. Well, thank you, Victor. Okay, good deal. Yeah.